All right. Um, sometimes what happens is we lose sight of the the forest here. We start looking at the trees and we forget about the forest and vice versa. What do I mean by that? We're in this we're in the thick of this uh, unit on trigonometry, okay? And we see a lot of sines, cosines, tangents, cosecant, secant, cotangent, and we see a lot of fractions with radicals, and we see Sokotoa, and we have all of this information based on trigonometry and we lose sight of you know what certain parts of these statements mean okay and so all this video is talking about is just taking a second just to rehash what we know now these these functions okay sine cosine tangent they they we're now we're now referring to them as functions and that's kind of a big deal because if they're functions then they might have inverses okay that means if they're functions, there's inputs and there's outputs, right? And if there's inputs and outputs, that means there's domains and ranges and all and, and so on and so forth. We're going to talk about all that once we start looking more at the graphs, okay? But I want to make sure everybody understands that the input, it doesn't matter. I wrote sine. This could be cosine. It could be tangent. It could be anything, okay? What I want everyone to understand is what, what goes in here, okay? Now, this, this has to be an angle, okay? We only take trigonometric values of angles, okay? Now, this angle, right, it could be on the unit circle, okay? It could be an angle on the unit circle. Keep in mind that there are coterminal angles, okay? Keep in mind that there are reference angles, okay? Keep in mind that there are negative angles, okay? So any, it, all of these apply to the angle that could be in here. That's if we're looking at the unit circle, okay? But it could also, it's still an angle, but it could be an acute angle in a right triangle. Sorry, not on, in a right triangle. So right triangle trigonometry still exists, okay? We don't completely ignore it. You know when we're when we're doing you know stuff with the unit circle so keep that in the back of your mind that the 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 value that is inside that function a lot of time i put a heart the reason i put a heart is because i don't want you to focus on x or theta or t or whatever could go in there right i just used a basic symbol that everybody's familiar with whatever goes here is an angle okay those are our inputs what are our outputs Okay, again, why did I use this star? Okay, the outputs for a function are either, okay, coordinates on the unit circle, or it could be a ratio, right? So let's say a ratio of sides in a right triangle. And the method that we use to evaluate these functions, okay, is going to be determined by some of the context clues, okay? And the only reason I'm saying this now is because we're going to start looking at some problems where we're doing trigonometry in the coordinate plane, okay? And, th and there's values. When we talk about the unit circle, there are values, okay, that you should at this point be familiar with, like anything with a radical three, right? We see a lot of radical three over two. We see a lot of halves. We see radical two over two and we see one, we see zero. These four or any variation of these plus or minus, okay? Any variation of these is a tip that we are probably dealing with an angle that's on the unit circle. If we don't see that, then chances are we're going to be working through problem solving with the problem we're doing with Sokotoa which means we're going to need to draw a right triangle, okay? And so I'm just gonna put this in here. You may need to draw a right triangle. It all depends on the context of the problem, okay? So if you're doing a trigonometry problem and you don't see any of these terms, right? Or you're doing a trigonometry problem and they're asking you to do the sine of 32 degrees. Well, 32 degrees isn't on the unit circle. So chances are the problem that I'm doing is going to involve Sokotoa, okay? It's gonna involve this. If they present me with a problem and they say the sign of pi something something, okay, right away, if I hear pi, I know I'm going to the unit circle, okay? So 
different context in the problems will determine which system of trigonometry we're going to do. Just understand that angles are going inside. They are the input to the trigonometric function. The output is determined by the context of the problem. Okay? We'll clarify this as we look at some of these examples coming up.